we got a 2015 F-150 3.5 EcoBoost in here, and we're gonna show you how to replace the main serpentine belt and the AC belt. Um, pretty straightforward process. Um, the AC belt is a little different because there's no tensioner on there, but we'll show you a little trick to how to get it on um, after removal. Uh, we've removed a few of the pieces in the engine bay just to make it easier for filming. Um, it's not necessary to remove these, but uh, it just made it easier for us to try to capture as much of this video to show you guys what to do. Um, so that's why we removed some stuff. Um, to start with, you're going to put a 15 millimeter socket or wrench on this um, tensioner pulley. You're going to pull it to the left and uh, it's going to let tension off the belt so you can slide it off the pulleys. And I'll show you how to do that here. Slide that off, let the tensioner down slowly. Paying close attention how you remove the belt for install. And just take that and set it out of the way. And that brings us to our AC belt right here. Like I said, there was no tensioner on this. Um, there's a couple different ways that you can get this off. Um, if you're gonna replace it, I find the easiest way is just to go ahead and cut it off uh, and not screw with any other way of doing it. Um, so we're gonna just cut this off. You've got a pair of shears here. You can use a razor blade or whatnot. Quick snip. And we got this removed and out of the way. All right, with the old one removed, I'm going to bring the new one in here. And what we're going to do is start it around the AC pulley. Hold it there for a second. We're going to put it on the inner belt grooves. This other pulley. All right. Put that on there. I'm going to kind of hold it, and then I'm going to take a zip tie and run it through the inside of this pulley and out and around from the back side and. That is going to kind of hold this pull or this belt on here for us. I can reach this. And I had to join two zip ties together because I didn't have one long enough. I'm kind of working blind here. I can't see for this shot. So with that done, feed this through. So we're going to come back, get our belts all situated again on this AC pulley. Okay, we're good there. Now we're going to tighten this zip tie up. This would be a little easier from the bottom side. I'm just doing it from the top side for this video. That should hold our belt in place. And with it held in place, we're gonna come with the 18 millimeter socket, spin the center, center bolt. Doing that, it's gonna kind of walk our belt on little by little here. See, it just popped on there. Spin it a few more times just to straighten it up. It looks like our uh, belt is good now. All right. All right, with the AC pulley on, we're going to come with our main serpentine belt. And get this back on here. We're going to start. Get it down in here. And we're going to come around the alternator. 
are going to come over the water pump, around the tensioner. and back and get it ready. Actually, I'm put it around. Get back on the tensioner pulley. good on the water pump on the reposition alternator and we're good a little tricky filming it and trying to record this but uh it's definitely a, a do-it-yourself type of job if you're a little handy and inclined not too bad but that's the gist of replacing both belts on a 3.5 ford ecoboost